Welcome back to another video, guys. It's your boy Wraith Hoops, and I've got a special one for you today. Now, I'm a little late to the party. I did watch the Summer League, but I didn't have a lot of time to actually analyze and go over the stuff. Since it's all concluded, and everything's been laid to rest, we've seen what we got to see out of some players. Some of them we didn't get a big enough sample size. Others we got a very large sample size. But the focus of this video is going to be a player that I expect to make a big jump this year, Jabari Smith Jr. Now, he averaged 35 and a half, seven rebounds and four assists. Of course, it was only across two games, but it was the way that he scored those points and made the plays that he made that make me feel so high on him going into this upcoming season. Now, he shot 48 and a half percent, almost 49 percent from the field. And he did shoot 33% from the three-point line, but he took 18 attempts. So shooting nine attempts a game and hitting three, considering how he shot last season, that's not bad. And considering he's also 6'11 at roughly 220 pounds, he's got a solid frame about him already. He could stand to fill out a little bit more, but overall he has the athleticism, he has the wiggle, and he has the play style and ability to take that next step. Obviously they've added on some extra pieces and most notably, their head coach is now Ime Udoka. Uh, scandal aside, he was a great coach. And in Boston, obviously, they had a stronger structure across the entirety of the coaching staff all the way up through the GM. But that doesn't take away from his character and his ability to lead the Celtics to wins. And now bring him over to the Rockets, who have a similar young core, just a couple steps behind. They added Fred Van Vliet, which I wasn't super high on, and they added Dylan Brooks. And I didn't love either of those moves, but since they had the money to spend and you wanted a stronger veteran presence to help your guys mature and push further, it makes sense that they made this decision. But with Jabari Smith Jr., he has the ability to truly take that leap of faith and become an even better player. Last season, he did only average about 13, seven and one, and he shot an abysmal 40% from the field, 40.8% 40, 40 from the field. So he wasn't the guy they needed him to be. And I wouldn't call him a disappointment for the season that he had, but it left much to be desired. And after seeing these two games, he has a lot of analysts foaming at the mouth and a couple people are a little quiet on him. And I feel like the air has been kind of sucked out of the gym lately because you had Victor have a poor outing his first game. And in the second game, he went off. You had Shet coming out and firing on all cylinders. You had a bunch of different players taking that next step. And those were all the poster children of this summer league. And those are the people that everybody was hoping to watch. But the fact that Jabari Smith had a somewhat he had, it wasn't terrible let me get that out of the way it was not a terrible rookie year for him but considering what we hoped he would do as high a draft pick as he was going third overall you were kind of hoping for a little bit more but when you take into account the type of situation that it was with the rockets where it was basically see ball get ball whoever had the ball got to shoot the ball there was no really strong offensive system that they, that they had in place you obviously had jalen green and Kevin Porter Jr. taking a lot of shots. And some of them were great shots, some of them weren't so great shots. Obviously, judging by the record and how high the draft pick was this year, you can tell a lot of them weren't good shots. That being said, Jabari Smith Jr. has the opportunity to go from shooting 40% to hopefully my guesstimation is somewhere around 46 to 48%. Obviously, in these two summer league games, lower competition, it's easier to dominate. But there's a lot of players that go from year one to year two in the summer league and they come out and they just kind of coast or they look OK or they look like they made some strides, but they don't look super impressive. But watching the games and seeing him play on the court, he looked like an entirely different player from who we saw last season. If that Jabari Smith shows up in these regular season games, the league's going to be put on notice because he has the ability to take that next step and just be a phenomenal player overall. Whether he wants to do it is going to be the difference and whether Ime Udoka's system allows for him to do it. Obviously, last season, like I said before, it was a entirely different. It was the wild, wild west. Honestly, it was a wild, wild west. Whoever had it got to shoot it. Some people had the green light more than others. That's why a lot of his shots weren't necessarily quality shots, but they were shots nevertheless. So he did get his feet wet. Coming into this year, you're going to have a system in place. You're going to have a stronger veteran presence. You're going to have a year under your belt. 
you're going to have stronger guard play, stronger forward play. It's just a better situation for him to thrive in. And if there's any time to pop out, now is the time. There's no expectations, honestly, for the Houston Rockets. We expect them to improve a little bit, but nobody's expecting the Rockets to be a playoff team this upcoming season. Having a new head coach in Ime and adding Fred Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks in the offseason, along with some other key pieces, I could see them making a play in push. But that also hinges very heavily on Jalen Green's development, how they utilize Kevin Porter Jr. And then what Jabari Smith decides to be. If he wants to take that next step and be the boss, taking quality shots, getting his threes off at a higher percentage and looking comfortable with it. And that's going to be a big thing for him. If he's not comfortable, it's not going to look good. It's not going to go in the hoop. But if he plays to standard and he plays with the same level of confidence and desire that he played in the summer league games that we just saw, it's gonna be an interesting season. With that being said, good morning, good evening, good night, no matter where you are in the globe watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. We're chasing 1K right now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.